Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about while loop in C. So, uh, while loop is a, a kind of a looping statement, something we want to be uh, printed repeatedly. In the uh, previous video, I have discussed about for loop and here I will be discussing about while loop. I will be telling you here also the purpose of any looping statement is to execute the statements repeatedly. For example, I want to print the hello message for 100 times, uh, I can use loop, I can use for loop also, I can use while loop also. Very first, let us go with the syntax, thereafter I will explain how this while loop is going to be working. So initialization, the value we can starting point I can say that we have to write here, after that we have to use the keyword while and within the bracket we have to use the condition, means starting point, ending point also we can say. Okay, don't write any semicolon here and within the block, we call it as block open bracket and close bracket. We can write any statement which we want to print it or we want to execute it n number of times. Depends upon starting value and ending value. If you are moving forward now, the value should be incremented. If you are coming from greater value to smaller value now, the value should be decremented. So I will just very first I will compare with the for, uh, while loop with the for loop. Both are same only. Thereafter I will go with. Uh, example. So in for loop we write like this for initialization starting and ending and increment or decrement. Starting point is smaller and ending point is greater. You go for increment. If the starting point is greater and the ending point is smaller, then we go for decrement. Okay. And thereafter statements. Here also while loop also the same one. Initialization is the same as for loop while condition is being checked and the statements we are writing. After statements we are using increment or decrement and do remember the order of execution is first initialization condition checking if condition is true the statements get executed after executing the statement if you have to go for one more uh, round or iteration we have to uh, increment or decrement the value first after incrementing or decrementing value you go for condition checking in the same as in for loop also starting value and the condition will be checked if the condition is true the statements gets executed for first time and after that if you want to have a repeat very first you have to increment the value or decrement the value and again we need to check the condition to come inside. So here what I am trying to tell here is uh, uh, let me write down hash include stdio dot h main I am having a statement printf I uh, am printing hello message. This I am printing for one time. And see what is the output I am getting? Hello. One time I am printing. And the same, if I have to print it for two times, I have to write print it for two times. And hello will be printed for two times. Now, if I have to use this for 100 times, I cannot write printer for 100 times, right? It is wastage of time. Instead, I can go with loop. So the loop is int i, like look here how I am writing, initial value, just look at the syntax. Look at the syntax, say initialization, condition check, if the condition is true statements, thereafter increment or decrement, right? So, in a similar way, I am writing initializer i value starting with 1 while I will be writing i less than or equals to 100 and within that I am writing one statement like printf hello backslash in. and incrementing, I am incrementing value i equals to i plus 1 also can be written or i plus plus also can be written. Both will increment the value by 1. Look here what I have done. I have initialized the i value which is starting from starting value is 1 and its ending value is 100 up to 100 and if the condition is true here the statement get executed. After that with incremented value again we go for condition checking. If the condition is true then again you will come for uh, execution of statement. After that again the incrementing value with incremented value again it will go for it will go for condition check and the condition is true then this gets executed right so see here 
how many times it is running hello is going to be printed for 100 times hello is going to be printed for what 100 times now i am going to reduce it to uh, 5 now look here hello will be printed for how many times 5 times count it 1 2 3 4 5 totally 5 times so instead of hello this time i want to print that i value what we are going to get the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and see here how this while loop is get, get, getting executed. I will take it in the notepad. There I will explain. So here uh, initially look at i value is what we have taken. i value is 1 and thereafter, thereafter you are checking condition i less than or equals to 5. So 1 less than or equals to 5. Condition is true or false? You know that the condition is true. Now, as the condition is true, you are entering into the while loop and it is asking for printing the i value. As of now, what is the i value you have? 1. That 1 will be printed. As of now, that is the only output we are going to get. After that, i value gets incremented by 1, which is nothing but i equals to i plus 1, which implies i equals to old i value plus 1, which is nothing but 2 which implies now i value is 2 and with incremented value with incremented value again it will come back and it will check for condition what is the condition 2 less than or equals to 5 2 the condition is true right as the condition is true again what you have written you print the i value as of now at present what is the i value we have 2 the 2 will be printed again after printing the 2 value again it will go for i plus plus so now i value is 2 plus 1 why because old i value is 2 plus 1 which is nothing but now we have i equals to 3 right so now with the new incremented value again you will go for condition checking 3 less than or equals to 5 3 less than or equals to 5 so the condition is true again as the condition is true again as the condition is true again you are printing the i value what is i, I value as of now 3 3 will be printed and thereafter again after printing the i value then i value gets incremented i equals to old i value plus 1 which is nothing but i is now 4 now again after making it 4 again it will go 4 less than or equals to 5 now the condition is true again as the condition is true you are asking to print the i value what is the i value 4 that will be printed and after that again you update the i value as i equals to i plus 1 which is nothing but 4 plus 1 which is now i value is 5 now again again 5 less than or equals to 5 the condition is true so that's why as the condition is true again 5 will be printed it works similar to the for loop do remember that i equals to again 5 plus 1 which implies i is now 6 after making i equals to 6 now again it will go for condition checking 6 less than or equals to 5 check out now the condition is false as the condition is false you have to stop now after here coming to the while loop you will be in the while loop only until the condition is getting fail so if you write the similar way i less than or equals to 10 this loop will run for how many times 10 times as you are incrementing only for each time you are incrementing the i value only by 1 then it will run for 10 times i value 1 to 10 will be printed for example instead of i plus plus if i am writing i equals to i plus 2 then can you guess what is the output we are going to get 1 will be printed after that i equals to i plus 2 which is nothing but 3 condition will be 3 less than or equals to 10 as the condition is true you are going to get 3 next to 5 next to 7 next to 9 like that the values will be printed you just see here instead of i equals to i plus plus you can write you have to write i equals to i plus 2 you cannot write you cannot write i plus 2 like this i equals to i plus 2 only we have to write and let me execute what is the output we got it 1 3 5 we got it why we got it 5 only 
Why? Because we have taken limit up to five. If we are taking limit up to ten, now guess what is the output we are going to get? One, three, five, seven, nine. Look at what are the outputs we are getting. One, three, five, seven, nine. This is the output we are going to get. So this is the same way how the for loop works. I'll show you how the for loop is going to run. The similar way. I'll be writing same for i equals to one. The same code, uh, this code I am writing here as per the syntax, i less than or equals to ten, i plus plus, and the same code I am writing here. Here, let me write down i i plus i plus one, and the same code I am writing, copy and paste. Simple. Now see, the same code I have written, and let me remove this code related to while loop as of now for some time. And let us see what is the output we are going to get. We are going to get the output between one to ten. You see here, it will work same as for loop. Only difference is its syntax. What is the difference? Only difference is its model. You can go with while loop also, for loop also, if you want to execute the code repeatedly. Means if you want to have anything to task or statements are to be executed for n number of times or like that. Now I will explain with the one code. Uh, this is the brief example about the while loop. Now I will explain one code here. Uh, I less than or equals to ten. Print f. Percentage d comma I I am writing. What is the output I am going going to get from this? I am not going to uh, look at what what is the output I am going to get here first of all. I am getting infinite loop. Why I am getting infinite loop? Only one, 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 one. I am printing infinite loop. Why? Because one you have written one less than or equals to ten. Condition is true. Printing again one less than or equals to ten. Always one less than or equals to ten only. Never failing condition. Why? Because you have not written the step for incrementing the i value. Now look at. It will stop up to ten only. Look at what is the output we are getting here. One to ten. This is the brief about the while loop. So. For example, for example, here I am putting a condition that if i modulo two equals to zero, then only print the i value. This step print f is only step which belongs to if block. Uh, that's why I am not using any curly brackets. Okay, let me use the curly brackets also. Why to uh, avoid this? Okay, so now, now. What I am saying, I am not asking to print all the values of i between one to ten. Before printing, I kept a condition. What is the condition? I kept modulo two equals to zero. I have written. It is the logic for even checking, right? Even number means if that i value is even, then only it is printing. Means when i equals to one, you will not get output. When i equals to two, output will be printed. When i equals to three, you won't get output. When i equals to four, you get output. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Like that, you are going to get the output. See what is what is the output we are going to get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. When i equals to one, one modulo two, which is failing condition, you cannot print i. Again, you you will increment the i value. It becomes two. Two less than or equals to ten. Condition is true. Like that, two modulo two condition is true. That's why two is getting printed. Like that, all even numbers between one to ten will be printed. For example, if I am writing one hundred. Now see here what is the output we are getting. All the numbers between, all the numbers between one to hundred, but all the even numbers here we are printing, not odd numbers. If, suppose instead of equals to zero, I am writing not equals to zero. Guess what is the output I am going to get? All the odd numbers which are not even, I am going to print. Not even is nothing but odd numbers. So I am going to print odd numbers between one to hundred. Hundred is not the even number. That's why ninety nine only I am going to print. So this is how the while loop works. Hope you understand uh, about basics of while loop. We'll go with multiple examples and while loop and for loop in some other video. Hope you understood, guys. Thank you.